Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to continue with getting some cameras mounted in the high altitude balloon. So where I left off in the last video, I've got all these rough cuts of styrofoam for my insulation of the HAB module. We're going to punch through for the GoPro here through the side and get that mounted right now. So what I did, I just took my trusty hole saw and punched through the side here and I haven't even tried it yet, but with any luck, we're going to get the right spot. Look at that. Perfect. So. I'm not real happy with how far, actually, hold on, wait a minute, let's push it through the rest of the way, all of a sudden I am happy. So there's our extension on the lens, uh, I'd say I think we're going to be in good shape. Um, I can get a little bit more here, uh, actually no I can't because of the contour, we're running into the contour of this against the flat face of the GoPro so that's all we get so the concern is is to get the insulation uh, of this might get in the way so we may need to cut back a little further but there's our happy little GoPro and a happy little snug as a bug in a rug uh, super tight fit should be easy to get that so it doesn't move so let's carry on well as per the usual on this channel it ain't pretty but it's functional so what I did is I cut out a nice little recess for the Canon camera, which fits in like so, into that ugly hacked up mess, but whatever, it is what it is. Tested the lens extrusion, and I end up with that. So we're going to punch that hole. Yeah, I not like my ugly tracing. Oh, God, I'm embarrassed to put this online, but hey, whatever. I figured I'd share. It's more important to share than I... I, I see a lot of people who make really awesome, perfect videos. Uh, I commend them. I would just rather show the process. Um, even I'm not nearly as good as other people. So anyway, let's keep going. Well, now we're getting somewhere, guys. We have I ended up my whole saw stripped the the collet that holds the, the the actual saw together stripped. So I ended up having to punch this through by hand, but whatever. We're in, we're secure, we've got a GoPro sticking out the side, now we're talking. Eh, it's ugly, shouldn't even be showing this, but hey, whatever. So uh, I may make a new end piece for here to shore it up a little bit, but I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to, once everything's in place, I'm going to uh, permanently uh, glue or outside tape, I'm not sure what I'm going to do to uh, hold these insulation together to make it all rigid and then uh, space it out and we're good so just have to cut some holes through the outer layers and we've got a hab module looking awesome alrighty guys so what I did is pretty ugly still but I got the holes cut out um, bugger of a time cutting these holes because I'm I was hoping to do a nicer job and maybe melt it, but I don't want to wreck the iron I have. I loaned out my cheap iron. Um, I had a little better luck on the GoPro side. So the GoPro hole, what I had to do is I, I cut it out and I trial fitted the GoPro, took some, took some footage with it and found that I need to set this way back, otherwise the wide angle catches it in frame. So I cut it way back. Then I took my trusty hot air rework and uh, used it to essentially seal the foam around. The uh, nylon is actually takes one hell of a pile of heat before it's affected and I was really hoping to rip stop around here. So I kind of did, but now what I'm going to do is I'll probably take a bit of CA glue just to stop tears from forming. It's not, not a problem, but uh, yeah, might as well keep going the right direction. So I'll, I'll stop the tears from forming, and then I'm going to take some some silicone sealant, um, some RTV, I think, and uh, kind of form it around the edges. So we'll see how that goes. Well, guys, I'm pretty excited now. This is starting to look like something. So uh, I just hot snot glued the uh, uh, insulation chunks into place. Uh, I've got the GoPro sitting in place. 
I've got my cannon that just fell in because it's not sitting in place. But uh, what I'm going to do now is I'll take the uh, RTV sealant and uh, lock these down uh, the outer layer where we don't want to get into the camera frame and kind of seal that up. And uh, yeah, there there is foam in between here, FYI, so that's why I had to carve out so much area. Uh, the insulation of the cooler itself so super happy about this tons of room in the payload section not very heavy yet pretty happy about that i uh, should be able to keep this thing warm with essentially probably just the gopro but um, we'll uh, we shall see with some live testing uh, with the new insulation should have done that sooner but hey whatever um, live and learn and build as we go. So I'll get the Arduino module will sit in here somewhere probably down in the end or here. Uh, I'll sort all that out and come up with a bit more positive retention. Actually the GoPro is wedged like hell but um, come up with some positive retention methods for the cameras because ultimately if they shift yeah, wreck the whole mission. And uh, I'm not going to insulate the top. I've got the uh, spot GPS mount that's re that sits right down in the insulated area and there is foam in here so we should have no problems this should be a, a really nifty payload i'm pretty happy about this i think if we can recover it we should be able to reuse this and God, i don't know how many times but hey we're getting there anyway guys thanks for joining uh, really glad you could follow along in this project i'm super excited to to build it and uh Hey, that's the glue I'm going to use. If anybody lives in Canada, this automotive goop glue. Oh, grab that. Thanks for watching, guys.